Two investigators have been exposing Chicago police, busting down doors, pointing guns at children or parents, all during wrong raids. We've now found 51 allegations of wrongful raids, and we are uncovering even more disturbing details here. Dave Savini exposes officers ordered to kill their body cameras soon after bursting in on the wrong people. <laughs> Tony Tate just changed into her nightgown when Chicago police swarmed her apartment. They just came in with guns drawn. She feared officers might mistake the shiny metal object in her hand for something dangerous. I got a spoon in my hand. And was terrified when she saw guns pointed at her two daughters. When he pointed his gun at me, still, I had it covered to like this. Tate's son also had a gun pointed at him, a rifle to the back of his head. You were worried about him? Yes. Critical body camera footage revealing what happens to innocent people as police raid another wrong home. This time they're looking for a suspected drug dealer who never lived here and that the Tates had never heard of. We were both handcuffed for about almost an hour. Ouch, this hurts. You're right. But we can't show you everything that happened to this family because the sergeant in the red shirt, Kill Anthony cameras. Bruno, yeah. gave this order. Let's go to cameras. Kill cameras. Kill cameras. Kill cameras, Bruno told his team. One by one, their body cams shut off. That order came just two and a half minutes after they entered the home, what appears to be a complete violation of Chicago Police Department body camera policy. Kill cameras. Sheila Betty is a law professor at Northwestern University. Policy could not be more clear. They had to have their cameras on. And it wasn't the first time Sergeant Bruno gave the kill cameras order. Open, go in, watch the right. Just four months earlier, he and his team raided this innocent family's home. Please do not shoot me, please. You're fine, you're fine. His raid team terrified these siblings with guns, then interrogated a 7, 11, and 14 year old without a parent present. So we stopped selling out of here? We stopped keeping it here? Who? Whoever keeps it here? We never, we never had it. Hey, just tell us, if, do you know where the stuff's at? Because if you can tell us that, then we're out of here. Then, just minutes into this raid, Bruno told them to shut their cameras off again. If everybody's secure, we can kill cameras. Both families are suing CPD. Chicago police say they are now investigating Sergeant Bruno and what happened on these raids, but the attorney for the raid victims, Al Hofeld Jr., says neither family has ever been contacted to be part of any investigation by CPD or the Civilian Office of Police Accountability. Dave Savini, CBS2 Investigators.